This woman is being arrested for identity theft. She tried to open accounts using an identity document belonging to a Times Media Group journalist. Zugiswa Zimela, a multimedia reporter and producer at the Business Day, was contacted by various retail stores that were trying to verify her details as an unknown person tried to buy items like cell phones and clothing using her identity. There was a lady who called me from a, a contract, a cell phone contract a retail store and she asked me if I had tried to open a contract and I hadn't, so I was a bit alarmed, but I wasn't too worried because, you know, I thought it was just a mistake or something, you know, had gone wrong. And she offered to send me the, uh, you know, the paperwork. When I received it, I was horrified. I, you know, this person who was impersonating me had used where I work, my address, um, and uh, my home address. They even got hold of my banking details. Zimela says the scary part of her order was that she has never lost her identity document. It's never gone missing or it's never been out of my person. So I, I was really scared. Um, but when I saw this person, they had manufactured their own identity document with my ID number and my name and my surname and my, and my date. But the picture wasn't of me, so that, that was something that really stood up for me. Zimela explains the steps she took to try and stop the alleged fraudster. When I came in earlier the next day to go to the police station to open up a case, so that was the first thing I did. I was really hopeful I got hold of TransUnion and they said to me they could um, flag my ID or blacklist it. The South African Fraud Prevention Services recently released identity theft statistics and Business Day spoke to Bridget Capron from Credit Bureau CompuScan about how widespread the problem is. We've seen about 1,370 cases that have been reported as at the end of April of this year. Between 2012 and 2013, there's been about a 16% increase in identity theft, and we would expect that this figure will rise substantially to a plus minus 4,000 cases by the end of 2014. So essentially, this is something that the consumer needs to be concerned about. Capron said there are definite steps consumers can take that can reduce the risk of being targeted. I would recommend that any discarded bank statements should be shredded or any document that contains personal information. Safeguard your PIN number, safeguard your ID number and lastly, never give your personal information out telephonically. CompuScan has developed an online portal where concerned members of the public can view their credit profile. The alleged fraudster that targeted Zimela was arrested and is currently awaiting trial. This is Digit Zeng Malika reporting for Business Day and Financial Mail.